Medical experts have highlighted the dangers of chest binding, saying that it can cause problems including breastfeeding difficulties and broken ribs. Some people might even argue that it's relatively barbaric. The charity aims to support transgender children and their families, but campaigners have called for regulators to step in and launch an investigation into safeguarding. One of the biggest issues for me here is the lack of parental consent. Dr Heather Bluskell evans is an academic and author with a research interest in the area of transgender body politics, and she joins me now. Thank you very, very much. Firstly, should these charities be allowed to do this kind of thing without parental consent? Well... Uh, of course, they, they shouldn't. And it's astonishing that the, this charity has been allowed to exist for as long as it has, and actually has the respect that it has from all kinds of organisations who actually employ them to to do training on issues of um, alleged children who are born in the wrong body or transgender children. So... Um, it is a very serious issue, and I'm absolutely delighted that this is coming out into the public domain, that Mermaids has no medical training, um, no psychological training for that matter. It is a lobby group which has set itself up as a, as a charity, and in fact, just like Stonewall, uh, makes quite a lot of money out of providing workshops and training well, and advice. Well, I was advice. about to say, I was... I was about to say, and this is almost like pro-trans merch, isn't it? You can get these it chest is. binders, which we're being told that it can cause breastfeeding difficulties in the future, broken ribs. M my concern with this is, is this a way of getting round almost full medical transition? It's like a soft transition, isn't it? You're changing your body without going under the surgeon's knife. It's true. And can I just point out that actually... Chest binder is a euphemism. It's actually for binding teenage girls' breasts. It's a breast binder. And girls have been doing this for a number of years now, binding their breasts in order to appear to be um, male, to have a flat chest. This is Mermaids has been advising this for years. Um, the girls go onto social media and they read all about it and almost demand um, breast binders because. It's it's the cult of of transgenderism now, which young teenagers are exposed to. So yes, they're they're highly dangerous. Um, of course, they restrict breathing, so they will restrict young girls in doing sport, sporting activities, and so on. And it's very dangerous to compress the breast tissue as it's growing. But yes, um, uh, parents who don't uh, go along with this. Um, Mermaids, I think, regards those parents as being transphobic and, and, and advises children to go behind their parents' backs to get the breast yeah, binders. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And this is one thing that I find staggering. Firstly, there are some noises online, which you are an academic who's right across this, so you will know more than me. And I, I want to just put some of these things to you. Some people say... Yeah. That sometimes this kind of stuff is deep rooted in almost some kind of perversion, wanting children to change their bodies. Some people would also say, if you look at an even bigger picture, that what's going on is the idea they want to create some kind of androgynous society that, in a weird way, makes us easier to control. Is either of those two things true? Well, I think there are truths uh, in, involved in both of the statements that you made, but. In a way, for today, I think that's a bit of a distraction. I think we should, we can easily criticize mermaids and their practices by sticking with mermaids itself as an organization. The danger of going beyond mermaids is that it, you can um, branch into a sort of conspiracy th theory. Uh, terrain and it's important actually not to do that because it's it, it is actually factually true that mermaids is advising um malpractice towards children and there is much empirical evidence to demonstrate that without straying into any of these other areas 
So they, very they can quickly, be very, in very, time. very quickly. Yeah. Just very, very quickly, because I've got to read a right reply, rightly so, from mermaids themselves. You just yeah. think this practice is wrong, fundamentally wrong. Well, just, just tell me exactly why, exactly why, quickly. I think it's fundamentally wrong because it actually, it's part of a, a whole sort of um, ideological position that that ch children can be born in the wrong body, which is clearly not true. That children are can be assigned at birth and can be truly the opposite sex inside, which is not true. And binding breasts, although it isn't a surgical practice, will almost inevitably lead to a young girl wanting to seek yeah. medical treatment. And, and in fact, young teenagers now get double mastectomies. Yeah, exactly. I think it's, there's, it's there's just, there are it's now children, disgrace. there are, there are now children mutilating themselves in a way that they will yes. come to regret drastically in later life. And yeah. one could draw an inference that some of it comes from some of this ideology. Dr. Heather Blunksell Evans there. Thank you very much.